Hey, good morning, friends. It's about 6.20 on Sunday morning. I'm Carl. This is my bathroom. That means it's time for a silky smooth Sunday shave. So, here we are. End of the week for some, beginning for others. Hope your weekend's treated you well. What are we using today, Carl? Well, let's see. Uh, what the puck? The uh, lime scented one. First time using that. Post will be Nivea as well as the Iceman Splash, Citrus Menthol, the brush, Omega Bowler 1098, the shaver, Monsieur Charles by Persona, second blade, uh, or second use on that blade. Um, I was going to do a Monsieur shave and use the Monsieur Gold, the Figaro Gold, um, and that razor, but want to do something different try something new so what the puck it is I was also inspired because flash got a couple of pucks in this um, sent to him by Gary uh, Zaws since he shaves and uh, Jimco so made me remember I had it and wanted to use it so anyway cheers coffee brought to you by Hallmark Baptist Church where everybody is somebody and Jesus is Lord getting ready for church today like I always do on Sunday gonna be a little exciting day today at church the uh, baptismal waters are gonna get stirred again two young men I probably may have mentioned it a couple of weeks ago but two young guys 14 and 15 14 and 16, I think, something like that, just kind of came into our church one day, one Sunday morning, walked in there, dad dropped them off, and they came in for a Sunday morning Bible study at 9.30, Stay, stuck around for the uh, service at 10.30, came back at 5.30, just the two young men, no parents, uh, stuck around, came back on Wednesday, and have been faithfully coming for the past couple, three weeks, three or four weeks now, and uh, just making a mess here, and wouldn't you know it, about the second or third week that them boys came to church, they turned around, re responded to the altar call, them young men got saved, heard the gospel story, so I trust in Jesus for salvation is a one-way ticket to heaven. And the rest is history. But today, those two young men are going to get baptized. So very encouraging to our little church. Especially just, uh, you know, young people typically don't just wander into a church and decide to join, because, you know, get saved and then become members. So very encouraging to you outstanding young men very uh, respectful you can tell that their folks raised them up pretty well respectful willing to serve eager to learn just really nice young guys so it's been a pleasure getting to know them over the past month or so man I'm so excited to see what God's going to do in their lives I'm also excited to see what's going to happen with this shave because I forgot how nice this lather is on these what the puck soaps. So anyway, yeah, so that's exciting. Um, gonna get to finally meet their parents. And I uh, was talking with one of the young men last week. And I asked him, you know, I said, okay, so you guys have been coming. You got, you know, you're getting baptized. I said, what, how did you guys come? Like, what made, what made you guys decide to come? And he said, well, me and my brother got into an argument at the house, a little shoving match, as teenage boys kind of do sometimes, especially brothers. And he said, one of them got pushed into the wall and it broke the sheetrock. So, as a punishment, their dad said, you boys are little heathens. 
I am <laughs> making you go to church. So really, them coming that first time was supposed to be like a punishment. But they enjoyed it. Received the word and the gospel. And just keep coming back for more. So, kind of funny how things work out. All in God's timing, you know. So, very cool. So Jimco, if you're watching this, oh, I forgot to buy peppers this week. So I'll try and get some. I'm off again tomorrow. I'll try and remember to hit up the grocery. Stock up on hot peppers for the hot pepper challenge. I don't know. Spicy, uh, spicy shave. What are we gonna do? I mean, do you want to? Uh, do you want to just eat peppers on camera or? Eat peppers and then shave like Abe suggested. How you wanna how you wanna play this man? I'm game. I like the spice. Tell you what, you know, I talk about my little, our little church, but <sighs> things are happening, man. Things are happening. Like we may only be 15 or 20 people, but I think every, every week we're getting visitors. Seen about... Um, since, since I started going to that little church in January, uh, had the privilege of witnessing four people. Trust in Jesus as their savior. Um. Saw a couple, couple, couple of members, you know, a couple of folks join the church. So
been exciting times, man. So, it just goes to prove that God is good. If we are found faithful, so is he. And he's still in the still in the loving people business, still in the saving people business. So it's just been really exciting times, man. Woo. Shave's pretty exciting too. Maybe not what I'm blathering about. Not even blathering, man. I'm, But, uh, yeah, man, these little what-the-fuck soaps for, you know, people might not think twice about them because they're mass-produced, inexpensive, you know, and not real fancy, but they're good performers. Scent on them, you know, it's a good scent. It's a real candy, kind of fake imitation scent, lime or whatever. But, heck, it's good. It's good. Shave's good too. Second pass. So I've been slacking. On my straight razor. Or shavette head shaves. I tried to use this uh this razor the other night for one. Off camera. But uh Just didn't, didn't feel right. I felt like I really sliced my head. Um, like on the second stroke, which is never a good sign. Luckily I didn't, but that was enough to kind of deter me from soldiering on. What else? Let's see. Don't forget your neck there, Kiefer. Weight loss update. Still slowly creeping back down. Um, weighed in at about 240 and some change this morning. 240.246, somewhere around there. So, um, after I 
stopped goofing around and eating tons of pizza. Mm. I uh, set myself a little goal to get back down to about 240 by the end of this month. If I don't goof it up in the next few days, very doable. I'll be back on my way to 52 pounds this year. Pretty close. Um, I think I gotta get down to about 212, 222, somewhere around there, I don't remember. 212, I think, will put me at a 52 pound loss for 20, 2018. The lowest I've been this year so far, 235, before I lost my mind and went on, uh, just got lazy and stopped cooking and started eating whatever I could get my hands on. So that's the biggest problem. Like, at least for me, I will admit that I have a food addiction. I've said that before. I love to, I love to eat crappy food, and I love to eat a lot of it. But more than that, or what really kicks that off, I should say, is I just get tired of cooking. I don't get tired of eating what I cook. I just get tired of cooking and cleaning because it seems like sometimes. That's all I do. So. So that gets old and then I'll go for, you know, I'll have a, a week, a week or whatever where I go, eh, I'll just eat out, buy frozen dinners, prepared foods, something like that, you know, kind of just to get a break from cooking, but try and keep the calories in check and the the nutrition consistent. And then I end up ordering pizza. <laughs> and, uh, you know, eat all the pizza. For, you know, what terrible goes from a day or a couple of days, quickly turn into a week, six weeks, before you know it, a month has gone by two months, you gained all that weight back. And you're starting. Almost from scratch. Sometimes. Depending on how long it takes you to get sorted out. <laughs> Starting worse off than you were. Been there more than once. But it's a process. You know, and every time you, every time you get off that, fall off that wagon, you learn and improve and change and <coughs> different strategies and just keep moving forward. That's all you can do. You can't give up completely or you'll never reach your goals. There we go. All right, that's the that's the face shave, kids. Let's get rinsed off. We'll move on to the head shave. That's really nice. 
Yeah, right at 20 minutes too. That's not bad, considering I've talked a lot and lathered for a while. All right, let's move on to the head. Um, ATX. Let's gather up a little bit more soap. You know, if I keep using the same soap for my head and face on Sundays, I'm never going to finish that little Tim's. But what you going to do? Did I mention? Last shave was on Thursday. So, both head and face. So was that two and a half days or something like that? Watched a few shaving videos yesterday. Not a lot, I'm way behind. I started to watch Cincy's uh, live shave with the GDL. After the fact, unfortunately. But uh, got late and I fell asleep. Womp womp. Um, caught up on a few of Jim Co's. We're getting bad about commenting. So guys, if you're not seeing my comments, it doesn't mean I'm watching your videos. But I've gotten kind of lazy. So I lay on my couch, turn my TV on. And I watch, uh, I watch your YouTube videos on my big screen. And uh, there's no way to comment on, off of the TV. So sometimes I try and sit there with my phone, watch the TV on the, or watch the video on the uh, big screen with my phone in my hand and comment. But sometimes my phone's not handy and I get lazy. I'll be the first to admit it. I don't. I don't even want to get up and walk across the room or to the other room to get the phone off the charger. So I'll just sit there and watch a stack of videos, no comments, and then maybe try and remember that the next time I either have my phone in my hand or I'm sitting at my computer, hop on and, and comment on the videos I've already watched. Sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. So. Like I said, if you're not seeing me down in the comments, guys, it doesn't mean I'm not watching. But I am not watching quite as much as I used to. Because you guys know how that goes. Things in life and things and stuff get in the way. If I could figure out a way to get paid to watch shaving videos, I'd be all about it. The unicorn horn. <whistles> Have seen a lot of live shaves happening in the uh, the IJS Facebook group. Still don't spend quite as much time there as I'd like to. But it seems like almost every day somebody is doing a live shave there. Or on YouTube, which is cool, man. Like, you know. It's a good way to interact. They're a little awkward, having done a few of them in the past, because you're trying to to shave and read comments and see what you're doing and keep up with the conversation in the comments. Sometimes it get away from you, but it's fun. Um, I actually think that's more fun than this. I've even seen a few guys do like tandem shaves. Uh, I saw Frank and um, gosh, oh, I did cut myself the other day or I just cut myself now. <laughs> can't remember his name uh, new shave at shaver they were doing tutorials to kind of work through a shave together and that's 
actually really cool. It's a great idea, whoever thought of it. It's great that we have the technology to do it. It would have saved me a lot of heartache, I'm sure. But I mean, stuff like that, man, it's, it's really cool. Guys trying things for the first time, you know, on camera, there's a lot of bravery there, like shavette head shaves or first shavette shaves. It's a whole different beast than doing this because here you can talk as much or as little because you're not really talking, you're just kind of filling space so it's not silent. And some guys do silent shapes, you know. Not me. I like the sound of my own voice. Nah, man, it's cool. Um, a lot of great guys doing cool things with this technology that we have. I think it would be cool also, because I know some, uh, some guys do video chats and telephone chats. I mean, like I said, last week I had a, a really cool chat with Manny um, on the phone, which was unusual, but very cool. It's just a different way to get to know some of the guys in the groups and in the community. Like I remember one time Frank, <laughs> the shark, he video messaged me on a Sunday afternoon, totally caught me off guard, and I just felt so awkward. <laughs> But it was good to talk to him really quickly. Um, so, but I've been thinking, you know, maybe what we could or should try, if anybody's interested, is just like a Google Hangout. I've seen a lot of the comic book YouTubers get into this, and you know, sometimes it can start out as a you start off with talking on a topic or doing interview or whatever, but then it just kind of turns out to people chit chatting. You know, and you get four, five, six people together, and you just talk about shaving, hobbies, whatever, you know, share information and just spend time getting to know each other. And it's just another way. I've been thinking about it. Um, <clears throat> thought it might be cool if anybody's interested. See if we can't figure that out, how to get something like that set up. I think all you need is a a Google account, phone and a camera. I don't even think you need a camera. Because sometimes those folks who don't have cameras, they turn it off. And as they talk, their avatar just shows up. Anyway, let me get rinsed off. Shave's done. It's a very nice shave. Little album. Ooh, a little bit of irritation. Yeah, we're so slight. Head feels pretty good. That, my friends, is a silky smooth shave. Head and face, or head and cheeks, BBS. Get to the neck, it's pretty close. Uh, actually, a little bit better than DFS, if I, had to, if I had to really judge it. That's probably one of the better neck shaves that I've got recently. All right, so for the post, John's Citrus Freeze, the Iceman. Gosh, this stuff. Gonna be another hot one here in Texas. 100 degrees, I think. So, something nice and cool is in order. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff right there. May Gusta. Here's a tip, kids. Don't rub it over your eyes. Ah. Oh. 
That'll get you woke up. All right, a little bit of the uh, Nivea Balm. This one I think is the sensitive skin. Cooling, so this may have a little cooling sensation in it as well. A little bit more than that. And of course, when you go for a little more, sometimes you go too much. The Popeye right there because of the menthol. Woo! All right, that's it. That is all. Um, beautiful shave. Do I need to do a recap? Hey, why not? What the puck? Lime. Uh, what's the real name on this one? I don't even know. Lime. Lime Burst. Anyway, fantastic. Persona Monsieur Charles. Omega Trend 98. Headblade ATX. Nivea. Iceman. That has been Carl having shave. Hope you have a great week. Hope your weekend, the rest of your weekend treats you well. No matter what you do, go spend some time with your friends and family because it's pretty important. Uh, you can't redeem those times. Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for spending some time with me. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I did. Uh, we'll see you next time, maybe on, uh, I don't know, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, who knows. I'll see you when I see you, maybe with hot peppers next time. Have a great weekend.